I'm Tara Oracle. This is Artisan Tarot's new deck. This is 20 bucks on their site, majors only. It's called FF Silizio. Silizio. I'm probably butchering it. I apologize in advance. It is smaller than a normal deck. So here you have the Titanic Tarot. And then you have this TDM Tarot. Uh, so it is going to be a little bit smaller than a standard deck. It's also majors only, so it's obviously going to be fewer cards. Artisan Tarot is a fantastic place to be right now. If you're even partially interested, partially interested in TDM, that's a place to hang out. They have all of the recreations of tons and tons of original TDMs that they've worked really hard. William and Kristen have done a fantastic job over there. They've really busted their butt and made some amazing decks and very true to uh, the originals as well. So if you're a TDM fan, that's a place to be. They've also introduced a forum where you can get on, you can chat with other people that are obsessed with TDM. You can get more information. You can ask questions. Uh, and William and Kristen are on the forum as well. So a lot of good stuff over there. They're very, very active. They never just sit there and enjoy their success. They're always creating something else. So today we're going to do FF Silicio, and they also have a $15 deck of regular cards. I, I want to interview William and kind of ask why they got into this space. I mean, it's it's cool, but there's just I, it was kind of unexpected to get that. I was like, wait, so I had to go to their site. I'm like, regular cards? But yeah, they're pretty high quality as well. So let's look at this real quick. This is their newest thing and is available on their site. So this is a restoration of the Trump cards based upon the tarot printed in Genoa, Italy, FF Silicio in 1865. Hand restored and adapted, right? When they say it's restored, they, they don't just do a little bit of a restoration. Like um, when William has come on the stream, he has a PowerPoint with like it's insane details of why this is here, why this is a particular color, how they restored a particular item. So their level of detail, their level of perfection is, is absolutely unmatched. And that's why I'm such a big fan is it's, it's rare to find somebody that is creating a tarot deck that sits there and goes into that depth of a detail, that depth of a love, passion, you know, sort of making it, making it their own. Uh, but yeah, definitely restoring it exactly how it should be. And if they didn't have the details, kind of winging it, not really per, uh, particularly winging it like making it up, but doing the best that they could from the uh, restoration stuff. Anyway, all right, here is the back and here is the front. Lamat with the, um, yeah, the creature, the dog cat. Um, I'm not sure if they're pulling the pants down here or not. I assume no. I assume no. Okay. The dog, uh, dog cat, whatever it is, is usually sort of a dog is, is running the fool out of town in many of the tedium books, basically. So you have that big discrepancy between, you know, um, you know, the tedium and the Rider Waite Smith. I always love seeing the magician, seeing what is on the table here. Not sure what that object is. I assume we have the cups and balls. Chop cup at a minimum. We have a knife. I don't think I've ever seen a knife in a magician. We have a wand, obviously. Is that a knife? It looks like a knife. I'm not sure. It'd be interesting to kind of read it. I wonder what that object is as well. All right. We have the Le Papes. Very heavily robed, of course. So we do not find out that it is not a man. All right, the Empress, ooh, that's pretty. That's really, really pretty. Very nice. All right, the Emperor over there. Always looking like he's coming out of the seat. Always just about to come out of the seat. Love the crest and everything else. All right, Hierophant, over here, the facial expression, wow. Very cool facial expression there. All right, here we go. So is that really, you know, one of the, um, in some of the books, right, they talk about the possibility of it being a mother giving away or the mother interfering with his new relationship. 
That is really telling. Look at that. Like he's trying to hold on to both sides of the relationship. Maybe it's the mother. Maybe it's another woman. That is fascinating. Uh, anyway, all right. I got a little bit of a chariot there. Pretty traditional. It's interesting. I kind of want to get... I kind of want to get... Um, William on a stream and kind of ask, normally there's like a body, I guess it's a thin body in the back where you don't have the body. The body just kind of vanishes, kind of like just an upper torso kind of thing. Like you don't see the um, actual torso here. It's just kind of hovering in the air. No stars, whatever. All right, a little bit of the scale action going. Vertical sword lining up with the throne, which is pretty traditional. On the opposite side, what I normally see, but yeah. All right, a little bit of a shine, a little bit of a revelation there. Um, here we go. All right. Always love that it has a handle on the TDM. Like, you can literally go and turn it. Like, it's turnable. It's, it's editable. It's... It's modifiable. Does that make sense? It's modifiable. So like a Wheel of Fortune normally doesn't have a method to modify. Or it doesn't have a way to modify. But I just love it when it has a handle because it alludes to maybe we can modify it. Maybe we can turn this and force this into the next uh, level. All right. Strength over here. Man, I just really yanking the mouth open there. That expression, like, you know, I'm going to yank your mouth open like the kid's about to claw our eyes out. I would, too. You yank my mouth like that. Even my dentist doesn't do that. All right, hanged man. Pretty traditional there. There's no rat chewing the uh, cord like in my hanged man. Ooh, a speaker. What's I need to do to taste the tarot, hanged man? Um, all right, hands and feet. I've said many times, if you read books on the Crusades, they had piles of hands and feet that were so high that they couldn't get a, uh, a cart through it. So they uh, had people get shovels and move them. Um, kind of gruesome, but history is history, my friends. Luckily, we live in a, uh, a nice, comfortable, chilling at home environment. The devil tied up. I love the devil's expressions different in every card, in every uh, deck, sorry. The tongue is out there. The tongue's really out on there. All right, the tower. What the hell? Wow. Okay. <sighs> Here we go with some star. Very pretty. As you can see, card quality is immaculate. Again, attention to detail. Artisan Tarot does it right. The moon. That expression on the moon. Very cool. All right, the sun with the celebration. A little bit of a judgment. And the world. Wow. Very, very pretty. Well done. Well done. And you get a two of coins as well in the mix. So there we go. Uh, there's their newest deck available on their site. If you should pick it up and definitely do that. It, you know, at a minimum, go there and get on their forum and hang out and talk to everybody. Loves us some TDM. Let's look at their regular deck of cards. Now, when you get into... A standard deck of cards, William knows, you are sort of competing with some pretty high-end things from Illusionist, from, oh, I don't know. There's a ton of them, right? I would say Penguin Magic, but I don't want somebody to like dislike the video and never watch me again. Uh, no, Illusionist, Theory 11, coming out with all of the, uh, the good cards in there. So, yeah, we'll look at, I mean, 007 is obviously not going to be the... The best high-end card. But, but they're good cards. I mean, they've been making cards 
literally forever. So you have a very, very nice set of cards from these other companies that have been doing this a long time. So I'm kind of curious, I want to ask William, like, why, would, why did we get in this space? Um, but yeah, these are called Momentum. I like that the opening is like this. A little bit of a horizontal opening rather than the standard vertical. It's easier to get out. Um, yeah, a lot of good stuff with that. So this is $15 on their site. Um, let's zoom through it a little bit. Oh, obviously, I've already, I've already been sitting here and I've already been sitting here doing some lifts and whatnot with this thing. So you know, there you go. Anyway, all right. But um, yeah, look at the cards here. We got uh, standard pips. Jack, queen, king, interesting, cool, cool, right, get some more of cards, get some aces up in there, some king action, queen, jack, so yeah, if you want some high-end cards, here we go, ooh, joker, the two jokers, a little bit differing, which is kind of cool, uh, there we go. I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right. We're really getting into the magician space here. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think a lot of tarot people are going to know, William. I don't think a lot of tarot people are going are gonna to know what to do with that. But hey, you know, thank you for including it. That is, that is kind of funny, though. Um, all right. We got Jack, Queen, King, and Ace. Very cool indeed. Very cool indeed. So, again, super high quality. Super high quality. Yeah, super high quality. Anyway, um, yeah, if you're interested in playing cards, we're doing playing cards. If you know what this is, you've been doing magic. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You have been doing magic, my friends. It's always good to have a magician. I get, you know, if you're going to have... If you're going to have a company do playing cards, it's going to be good for that company to have a magician. <laughs> it's going to be good for that company to have a magician in the mix, right? If you're going to have Doom playing cards, good to have a company doing playing cards in uh, the mix. All right, that's, you know, that's, we're, br we're brutalizing it right now. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I like it. Very cool. Uh, very cool indeed. And uh, if you're interested in getting that done... If you're interested in getting that done, well, 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 can I do that? Wow, this is from the, uh, this is from, I haven't done this one in a while. This is from the old, William will know. This is from the old um, Dan and Dave. You remember the Dan and Dave, the original? Anyway, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Artisan Tarot. Pick it up. Check it out. Get yourself one of these. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.